While waiting for our project to finish 3D printing, it's a 3D printed conical ionizer. I'll show you that first, actually. But these are the things that I ended up being distracted with looking at. Partly because I needed some flat, two-core flex, and that was the only thing I could find the one. I had to cut cut it off one. And let me show you the design of this. It has a mains cable going in, and initially I was going for a cable... Let me just zoom down this. Initially, I was going for a little uh, strain relief bar with a couple of screws, but I decided instead to actually have the loop uh, with a sort of pillar that the cable goes round, and then there's an extra washer that then screws down top, and that clamps it in position. I've got a couple of resistance in, resistors in series with the little tiny little ionizer module. I can't pull the ionizer module out now. It is, but it is a PKA22F. Is that right? Hold on. PKA22F, although they do tend to stick that number in many, many things. And the output of that, I wanted to use a bigger one mega ohm resistor, but I use this one mega ohm resistor with sleeving, and it's designed so that now it's all put together. I can stuff that up there, out the way, and then pop this on like this, and a couple of screws later, and uh, we have a tiny little conical ionizer with the fibre tip just popped out the end. It uh, works fine. Uh, this will probably end up a separate project. Oh, there's a couple of screws going to hold this in the bottom and some rubber feet just for uh, security. The reason I spontaneously did that, I'm going to be visiting a friend soon in Glasgow and uh, I wanted to show them uh, an ionizer but running because uh, they were inquiring about one and uh, then described an ozone generator and I had to explain that they're not the same thing. Anyway, the subject of this video is these experimental panels and I'm getting deja vu. Have I featured these before or not? Or have I just looked at them and thought I should feature them? Anyway, I made these in 2004 and it's worth a revisit because it's almost like if you look at the modern LED lamps with the the bulbs with the linear regulator in them, this is a simple resistive regulator. So let me just plug these in and see what readings we get. That was a spontaneous project, that ionizer. I've got a flight today because uh, ultimately it's quite early in the morning. Uh, if I plug this in now, this is, I'll warn you in advance in case it's going to flicker. It may flicker. Is it flickery? It's not really flickering. Uh, it's 5 watts of power, that's actually quite high 25 milliamps it's showing Although it may be skewed by the way it's actually driving it That's more than expected 0.9 for power fact Because it is mainly a resistive dropper Just out of interest then, we'll plug in another one And then I'll open these up and show you I'll draw you the schematic for them Look at the LEDs in this one See how some are different colours and other ones are out. That's because these were early LEDs. 5.2 watts. That is going to get quite hot, that panel. Okay, 22 milliamps. Excellent. 0.96 power factor. It's even better. But look at the LEDs. How many are, have gone out? Right, let's take them apart. I shall pop the anti out the way. And we'll start with this one, because I think these were the first ones I made. So we'll pop the screws out and take a look inside. You can tell me, I had a look at my past library of videos, and I'm pretty sure I've featured these before, but there's uh, about two and a half thousand videos, so I, I didn't find it using keywords. It's a terrible thing, you can't even find uh, past videos. I would have found them if I'd waded through the lot, but it doesn't really matter, because it's so nice to visit, revisit projects and, uh, and just take, put a different slant on them. So, what do we have here? I'm guessing I was putting in a fusible resistor. That's a 1K resistor. Uh, but there is a bridge direct far, and the mains comes in, goes through the resistor, all acting like a fuse, I suppose. There's a bridge direct far, and here is the circuit board with, oh, it's 2004. That is 20 years ago. That's, how long is it? I mean, this is when the, the first affordable blue LEDs were coming available on eBay. Okay, it turned out they're factory rejects, minor technicality. What value are these resistors? These are brown, grey, brown, 180 ohm uh, resistors. Um, let me zoom down this actually and show you. So, brown, grey, brown, 1, 8 and 1, 0. So that's uh, 
180 ohms. And there's one, two, three, four by four. There's 16 of those resistors spreading the dissipation across the whole panel. And they're kept away more or less from the LEDs by basically that. LEDs are all in the same direction, so they'd go run down and then they go up to the other end and then run down and it's on the way up to the other end that they're going through all these resistors. Let's take a look at another one. This one is going to be harder to open because it is using... Um, I shall use a big pair of pliers. This is far too big a pair of pliers. And this is where I could have done with a different screwdriver, but this is the screwdriver I will use. I will pop it off because these are... Uh, Anti-vibration washers, they're sort of like the, the nylock type washers, but not real nylock. A company I used to make fairground length controllers for, they exported the rides. They actually had a ride rejected at a, an import location, the docks, because they'd used nylock type screw uh, nuts, but they were not the real ones. And I think uh, the patent was held in that country. And they refused to let accept their ride for import into the country until all those nuts were changed to uh, compliant ones that where everybody was getting their money's worth out of them. I wonder how much that would happen these days. We're almost there. So this is the one that had everything integrated onto one circuit board. What do we have? How much of that was off shot, I'm wondering now. So, we've got the mains coming on, and it goes, it's got a little cable uh, cable tie here, strain relief. 2004 again, it was that's when I was doing these. Uh, and then it's uh, red, red, brown. So that is 220 ohm resistors times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 by 3. So that's 15 uh, resistors. And this panel does get fairly warm when it's in use. Uh, this time... Instead of, uh, I've actually got them fairly close-ish. I mean, there's a bit of track between the resistors and the LEDs, but it's still... I wonder, I don't think that's the main issue with that. I'm going to plug this in again. While it's open and exposed in a dangerous manner. Let me uh, try and find which plug actually belongs to it. And clear all the hardware away from the back of it so it doesn't go kaboom. And then make sure I don't pick it up. Uh, so yeah, that's the... So these were... Uh, what were they? Were they Best Hong Kong? I think that's who I was getting the LEDs from at the time. It was an eBay seller who basically sold factory defect LEDs. Uh, and it was cheap. They sold big packets and they upped the postage on them, which was annoying. But you can see that uh, as they've uh, failed, and they did fail quite a lot, we've got the green ones, but note it, all the ones on the outside are, are okay. I wonder if it was heat that accelerated this. But some of these have gone turquoise coloured and others have just gone out completely. Uh, interesting. Let me unplug this. And because it doesn't hold a charge, I can just stick my hands straight across it. The resistors are fairly warm. Uh, right, tell you what, uh, I shall draw you the schematic right now for this. It's not that hard. And then I shall... Uh, check out and see how much power those uh, resistors were dissipating. So here is the notepad. So I shall focus down onto that and zoom in. And the circuitry was super simple. Uh, for most of them, it just was the mains going in. In our case, 240 volts, and it was going straight to a bridge direct far. So that's the AC in, badly drawn AC, plus, minus, Bridge rectifier, lazy bastard symbol. Uh, that came out, and then fundamentally, it was just resistor, LEDs, LEDs, LEDs. Um, and then a resistor, and it was just basically that all the way through, zigzagging backwards and forwards until it got to other connection. And that was it. So I shall uh, just check some readings now, and then I'll show you I'll count the number of LEDs and the resistors and tell you what voltage is being chopped across the resistor, what sort of heat was being dissipated. One moment, please. Okay, now that was quite complex to measure. So I've got 60 LEDs dropping roughly 2.65 volts each, and that adds up to roughly 159 volts. But keep in mind that the this is across an unsmoothed sine wave. It get, makes things complex. 
So roughly 240 volt supply minus that 159 across the LEDs leaves 81 volts to drop across the resistors. 81 divided by 15 resistors is 5.4 volts. However, if I measure the voltage across the resistor, Keep in mind that it's not. I, yeah, I tried a true RMS meter. It just didn't didn't show any difference. It was three point eight five volts. I measured across them. It's probably just because uh, it's off for quite a chunk of the sine wave, effectively, and that would manifest itself as a slight flicker. Um, but uh, the dissipation at three point eight five volts. Let me just double check that. Um, the current through it, if it was measuring roughly 3.85 volts, uh, I equals V over R, 3.85 volts uh, divided by the 220 ohms equals 17 milliamps times the 3.85 volts means the dissipation would have been roughly about, six, say, 70 milliwatts. But if we're actually calculating in that, uh, 5.4 um Divided by uh, 220 ohms would have seen closer to 25 milliamps times uh, 5.4 volts would have been 130 milliwatts. Either way, the resistors are not being stressed. They're well within the rating. Um, but it's an odd thing. God, so long since I made these. I just had a, a spate of making them. And they get quite warm in use, as you'd expect. But then LED lamp, modern LED lamps with the linear regulators also get quite warm. I made a red one as well and gave it to my brother, Ralph. He was having shoulder problems from his job as an undertaker. And, uh, you know, that red light therapy thing and the heat. I just thought it might help. And he seemed to enjoy holding it over the affected area and getting a bit of warmth. But, but that's it. But anyway, that was a, a distraction. My apologies if I've made a video about these before. It's just, you know, sometimes I do uh, cover a subject more than once if I've, if I've lost track of where things are. And that ionizer video, the conical ionizer, I shall work on that. And once it's refined, I'll probably release that as a project and make a video and release the 3D printing files for it because it uses a very generic standard Chinese module. But that's it. It's been a busy and interesting evening and it's quite good to revisit these and see what I was up to 20 years ago.